this video, we're going to build a very simple pendant, but we're going to use a tip that I really like that has to do with rotating. So as you can see, I've got everything lined up nicely. I've got my setting, my bail, and my chain. Now I'm going to add a new component to my screen, maybe an accent gem or a scroll that I think would really kind of add to my design and give it something special. Unfortunately, when my scroll comes out onto my screen, it's facing the wrong direction. It's not oriented correctly to fit in with my design. So if I hold down the shift key on my keyboard and also rotate my component at the same time, you can see that it ratchets at 45 degree increments, which will easily allow me to orient my piece to match with the rest of my design. Now I can go back without holding shift on my keyboard and rotate the piece to whatever angle I desire. But by using that shift key, I can ensure that the piece is really rotating at exactly the angle that I would like for it to. Once I get the piece on the screen, I can use all my other tools such as side mirror to kind of add to my design and make it come together. For this piece, I'm also going to use bend so that I can contour that scroll that I've just added to follow the curvature of my bail. I hope you enjoyed learning about using shift while rotating to ratchet at 45 degree increments.